In a decisive move to ensure public safety, the Lagos State Government has issued a final three-month relocation notice to property owners in Makoko, a waterside community in Yaba. The notice staggers structures built dangerously close to high tension power lines, violating safety regulations. Bolao Oki, General Manager of the Lagos State Building Control Agency, delivered this urgent message during a crucial meeting with community leaders. Now there are more details in this next report. The Nigerian Electricity Regulatory Commission mandates a 100 meter safety zone between residential structures and transmission lines. However, Makoko's unique layout has led to widespread non-compliance. This has made Gwalawan Wiki, the general manager of the Lagos State Building Control Agency, emphasize the dangers of electromagnetic radiation and outline potential sanctions for those who fail to comply with urban planning laws. It is very important that he doesn't want anybody selling plank or planting plank within this environment. And they've promised that before 20th of December, government, that place will have, everything will be in place and government will start noticing it. But it doesn't cost of anything. The life of an average Nigerian is more important than the money. It's not important that the money that the person building under high tension is going to make. Because when that thing comes in, you cannot get back the life. But you can get back 10 million, you can get back 10 billion. But the life is a key thing and it's part of it. And I want you to know it's building control. Building control in all its ramifications. It's not about construction alone. It's not about demolition alone. It's about the welfare of an average citizen of Nigeria. However, the relocation order extends beyond just homeowners. Community leaders were specifically warned against allowing timber merchants recently moved to Agbowai Kusi from recently in Makoko. Government message since 2012 when the task forces stormed on our chanties, let me call it chanties, on 16th, Monday, 16th July 2012. Then, shortly on Saturday, 21st of July 2012, one of our ballots shot dead and the action stopped. Then on the 11th, on the 20th of November 2013, we went to the palace and the palace chairman, the Aduma Raj chairman came to Makoko and said we should step back from high tension 100 meters perpendicular away and then nobody will. And, and that's what we keep on today and we are going to do it. We are here to give the necessary support to government because we believe the areas that this um, uh, project covers still reside under the, the authority and ownership of, of a lot of royal family. It's something that we believe we should come and partner with government because from Tom Melambridge, Makoko as is to Elijah Bariga is like a selling point of what Lagos State should be. So people coming in and out of Lagos State, right on top of should be able to see semblance of a state that is viable, rich, and beautiful. As the December deadline approaches, tensions are high in this historic waterfront community. The government's push for safety clashes with generations of tradition, leaving many residents facing an uncertain future. Okwayemi Owoshini, 360 News, Lagos.